So in this video, we're going to derive a very simple formula that will allow you to find the center of mass of a triangle quickly. So I've drawn a general triangle. It has coordinates A, x1, y1, uh, point B has coordinates x2, y2, and C has coordinates x3, y3. I've drawn on a median going from C to the midpoint of AB splitting it up into the ratio of 2 to 1, so that P is the centre of mass, the point I'm interested in. Now, the coordinates of my midpoint, so let's call that point M, would be x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. And let's say we've got the origin somewhere over here because I'm going to do this using vectors. I think that's probably the easiest way to visualise this. So, I want to get to point P. Now, to get to point P, I'm going to need to go two-thirds, so I'm going to go from the origin to C, and then two-thirds of the way along CM. So, the first thing I really need is CM. So, the vector CM is OM minus OC. Now OM is x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, and OC is x3, y3. Now x1 plus x2 over 2 take away x3. I can combine that into a single fraction and I could write that as x1 plus x2 take away two lots of x3 over 2. And I could do a similar thing for the y's, so y1 plus y2 take away 2y3 over 2. That's the vector cm. So I want to get from O to my centre of mass, P. Now to get there, I'm going to go from O to C, and then two-thirds of the way along CM. So O to C is x3, y3, and I want to add two-thirds of this vector. So I'm going to multiply this through by two-thirds, and that would just be x1 plus x2 minus 2x3 over 3, because the 2s would cancel and I'd just be left with multiplying by a third, and y1 plus y2 minus 2y3 over 3. So, I've got x3, and I want to add it to this fraction. So, I'm going to write it as a single fraction. So, this would be 3x3 over 3, plus this. So, I'd have x1 plus x2, take away 2x3, plus 3x3, would be just plus x3. And likewise, I'd have y1 plus y2 plus y3 over 3. Now that's really easy to work with because now the center of mass, so the point P, and this is the point, the center of mass of any triangle, would actually be just the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates. And that is really easy to work with. So from now on, I'm not going to think about drawing a median and going two thirds of the way along it. This is going to be much easier to work with in general, especially when we're working with compound shapes.